Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Uh, back to do another tag video. Uh, my buddy Rob from Movie Review Time tagged me to do, uh, his name was Jason. <clears throat> this is one question on every Friday the 13th film. So, um, I, I'm a little under the weather, um, but I never pass up a chance to talk about <clears throat> one of my favorite franchises. Um, it is my favorite horror franchise, uh, my second favorite franchise of all time, next to Star Wars, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I'm kind of laying low a little bit, this may be my last, um, tag video, I'm not really sure, <clears throat> Dave Maggot tagged me in one, I'm kind of trying to lay low to rest up for our, um, stream on the, uh, 29th. At 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Also, uh, Monster Mania is also on Saturday. So I'm kind of resting up to be able to attend that and do the stream. But I, do, I did want to do this. Um, this is a question and I'm going to be kind of winging it. Um, I didn't write the questions down, but I pretty much know what they are. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first question is about Friday the 13th. And what is your favorite kill? <clears throat> My favorite kill has always been uh, the axe to the face. I think that's brilliant. I love it. And my buddy Dave Maggot told me how they did it, which is even cooler. So that's always been my favorite on that for that movie. Uh, question number two is for Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, definitely one of my favorite slashers. Um, if not my favorite slasher, kind of flip-flops. Um, <clears throat> do you like that they killed Alice, giving what was going on with her life at the time? <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, um, Alice, who was played by Adrian King, was um, had a stalker at the time, so she did not want to come back and do uh, the whole movie of Friday the 13th Part 2. <coughs> Um, I saw Friday the 13th Part 2 first, um, then I, I, I believe I saw Friday the 13th, um, the original one on television, what was, of course, severely cut, then I think I saw Part 3, and so on and so forth, <clears throat> but, um, it seemed to work for me, it picked up right where it left off, and you can see in a dream sequence, the events that happened in the first one. And you saw that Alice had actually beheaded Mrs. Voorhees, Jason's mom. So it only makes sense that he kind of came back and he, yeah, he dispatched of her. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so I think it makes sense. I, I think it's unfortunate that she had a stalker at the time. I would have liked to have seen, um, you know, where things could have gone. But like I said, I saw it first. So, ignorance is bliss, you know. Anyway. Uh, question number three is about Friday the 13th Part 3D. Does the 3D work? Um, I was not fortunate enough to see this in the theaters since I was about uh, 11, 10 or 11 at the time. I did see it when it first came on cable. I actually did not see it in... 3D until many, many years later. As a matter of fact, it was about a year ago I first saw it on 3D. I bought the Blu-ray, <clears throat> which had the glasses, and I watched it. And for its time, I think it worked. Um, there were a lot of really cool scenes in it. Of course, there were a lot of cheesy scenes in it, but I think they made it work for the time. I still think it's one of the better 3D movies that came out at that point in time. Uh, question number four <coughs> is about Friday the 13th, the final chapter, and it's who is your favorite character besides Jason? Um, my favorite character besides Jason is Gordon. I think he's awesome. Um, I'm a dog person. I love dogs. Um, I also like Tommy, of course. I thought they were a good one-two punch. Um, added a little bit of comic relief to the series. 
to the movie, but um, yeah, definitely Gordon. Uh, question, <clears throat> question number five is from Friday the 13th, part five. And the question is, at the very end, when Tommy comes from behind the door with the Jason mask and the knife, and Pam is inside, what do you think happened? Um, I think that that was another dream sequence on top of the other one, and it didn't happen. So, okay. Um... I'm sure I'm going to catch a lot of flag for that one, but I just think it was a dream sequence on top of a dream sequence because he had a dream before, and yeah. Question number six. <clears throat> uh, do you like that they brought back Jason as a corpse in Friday the 13th Part 6? Um, yes. Friday the 13th Part 6 is one of my favorite Friday the 13th films. Um, I saw it in a the theater. I loved it. Um, from five on, I saw them all in the theater, and, um, yeah, yeah, I loved that they brought him back, I think it was necessary, <clears throat> I was one of the people that always liked part five, um, but didn't really think it had a future, so I get what they were trying to do in mixing it up, some people still hate the fifth one, but I liked it. But I think Jason was necessary to come back. <clears throat> uh, question number seven. Is Friday the 13th part seven. New blood. Do you like the direction they went with. With bringing a Carrie type character in there. Which was. Um, pretty different for the series. Um, I loved it. I saw it in the theaters. Like I said I saw five. And all the rest of them in the theaters. And I absolutely loved it. I know it's, for some people it's very popular, for some people it's not, um, but I, I really enjoyed it. I think it was fun. <clears throat> I think Kane Hodder looked his best as Jason in that one, <clears throat> but um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, question number eight is about Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Do you think it worked with Jason in the Manhattan setting, even though it wasn't that way throughout the whole thing? Um, yeah, I actually am with the popular majority in this one that I wish they would have done more in that sort of setting, even though it wasn't filmed there. But um, I think it would have had a little bit more comic relief, which I don't know that that's what they were necessarily going for, but I think it would have worked a little bit better. Um, I'm a big fan of Part 8. Big fan of Part 8. So, um, yeah. Uh, question number 9 is Jason Goes to Hell. Uh, my least favorite Friday the 13th. Um, do you think that it worked with Jason possessing bodies or going into bodies? Nope. Um, I don't hate the film anymore, but I'm still not a big fan of it. <clears throat> um, it is starting to grow on me as an, as a horror movie. I just don't like it as a Friday the 13th movie. I think it's a Friday the 13th movie without Jason, and it just irritates me. So, not a big fan still, but I don't hate it. So, um, yeah. Uh, question number 10 is about Jason X. I am a huge fan of Jason X. I know a lot of the people in the Friday the 13th community aren't, but I am. Um, did the story make any sense? Um, not really. Um, I'm going to be honest. I mean, it makes sense, but it's just a little out there. I mean, anybody who says it isn't is just... Yeah. It's definitely a... Very offbeat story. But, so was part nine. So, eh. And part eight, it was just kind of gradually getting there, I think. <clears throat> Question number 11. Um, of course, this is a, a debate that's been going on for a long time. Um, in Freddy vs. Jason, do you think they should have brought back Kane Hodder? Or... Do you like that they have uh, K 
Ken Kurzinger as Jason. Um, <clears throat> I like the movie. Um, I've heard a lot of people say it's crap uh, lately. I've always liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, it's not one of my favorites, but it's a lot of fun. It's like a fun popcorn film for me. Would I have liked that they brought back Kane Hodder? Um, yes, I would have. I believe he earned it. Um, I know a lot of my friends don't like Kane Hodder. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I do believe he earned it. I, I think it would have worked out a little bit better. So, but that's just my opinion. Um, and finally, question number 12 deals with the Friday the 13th remake. Um, do you think that they should have made a sequel to it since the first film, the remake, dealt with parts 1, 2, and 3? Do you think they should have made a sequel to it? <clears throat> um, I'm going to go with a very generalized statement in saying that Anytime we as fans get a Friday the 13th movie, whether we bitch and complain about it or whether we love it, I'm a, I'm of the mind that if we get another Friday the 13th film, yay. I'm always down for it. Um, we've seen the best, we've seen the worst, um, as of right now. So, but we're all still talking about it. So... Any kind of Friday the 13th sequel, I'll take. I was one of the people who was very disappointed <clears throat> when it was canceled last year. Um, really, really bothered me a lot. Um, so, like I said, I'll take a Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th sequel all day long. Um... I'm not sure who to tag. I'm going to tag uh, Last Shoe Gazer. I know he loves Friday the 13th. It's his favorite series of all time. I'm going to tag um, <coughs> um, The Horror Man. And um, I don't know if he's already been tagged, but Bronco Juggalo talks movies. Um, and Movie Massacre if he wants to do it. I know, he, like I said, he's having Wi-Fi issues, so I like to leave him in out um, because it's very frustrating, and um, I don't want to put any pressure on anybody. So, um, yeah, but that's it. Those are my answers, and I'm sticking to them. Um, if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time.